Baby beard. <laughs> All right, I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> Who is Hermes planning on killing? I think we should let the orphans run free. <laughs> you redeem funds. Yeah, exactly. You haven't. You yeah, haven't. He's just an old guy. Yeah. Can we yeah. talk about <laughs> evil Lincoln? Oh, of course. No, oh, this art needs to be sent. That's not the voice at all. That's lobster tail. <laughs> let's, let's make it the Look, Christmas. Let me ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> he was just about to bring you. Shut up and take my podcast! <laughs> Is that your old man? Your old, yes. your old yes. Farnsworth? Yes. He's wearing his driving gloves and driving <laughs> goggles and always the thong. <gasps> Philsworth! 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 It's like the baby beard butler. I'm also share a name with Fry already, so... Fry, Philip, Philip J. Fry. Philip J. Fry, yeah. And my name is Philip J. Harker-Smith. How do you spell is Philip it? again? Is it one L or two? It it's one L, L of a name. One L. It's one L and, and Philip... It's one L of a name. Oh, uh. welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome with one L as well. Yes. To shut up and take my podcast, a future trauma podcast that pits episode against episode in a bloody glorious gauntlet battle for your entertainment. And as always, I'm joined here by Josh with no L. Ah, yes. Uh, I am also reverting to my larval stage. Can't you see my siblings growing from me? <laughs> Bill with one L. Uh, I feel the younger version of me would be exactly the same. Uh, minus beard plus hair. And Sean. Sean. Ultra porn. Very disturbing or everyone wants to watch it? We haven't viewed it yet. No. But it's, I, I, you I have to tricked. be at least yeah. 53. Yeah. At least so 50. none of us can legally watch it. So we've got, what, less than three decades to go. Yeah. True, but we also don't live to 160. And... We, don't, we don't know how old you have to be because yes. he says 53 and he needs, needs a, fake. a fake ID. So he doesn't know how much, how much older he's going to have to be. So right. ultra porn is probably one level up from snuff porn. You and reckon? Yes. One level, or oh, I'd say several one levels level, Several up. levels up. <laughs> I mean, snuff porn's pretty damn Come I mean, high on the... No, not to go too far into this, but snuff porn's basically real death. death. Mm. Yeah. So it's a step up. I would like to divert the podcast away from snuff porn, if that's okay. Oh, it's ripe for comedy. Oh, yes. yes. Right. <laughs> um, so, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to season four, episode nine, skirting right around that car crash. On to uh, season four, episode nine. I've oh, said it again. That... I'm on a loop. Yeah, you watched season that video four, too. Season four, episode nine. Season four, episode nine? Season, season four, four, episode nine. Episode nine. Episode nine of season four. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Leela's Hurdles, which is a reference to what? Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, uh, the little known uh, professional uh, hurdler from the 1972 Olympics, uh, Jason Von Leela. I thought you were going to say Jimmy Hurdle. No. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Was it called something else in English? Uh, it is, yes. Uh, it was yeah. called Teenage Mutant Hero, Hero turtles. turtles. Because ninjas are offensive. Ni- yes. I, I don't know if it's because ninjas are inherently violent or it's cultural appropriation. I believe probably because they're inherently violent. Yeah, yes. well, also considering two of them have uh, weapons that can slice through you and they never use that end. Yeah, they yeah. have the... Well, they do against the robots. They have yes. the, the prongy <laughs> things, things the prongy things. The, and the scythe. The, and the sword. Uh, and the, the, katana. the katana. Yeah, katana. I think you'll find. Yes. Sorry, sorry, my yeah. ignorance is showing. I, I, I wrote down Ninja Turtles in brackets, maybe. 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 <laughs> Possibly, we don't know. Uh, fun little fact, in the latest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Michelangelo doesn't have his nunchucks. So, is it really even the Ninja Turtles? Does Discuss. It? He said nunchucks. Nunchucks. Nunchucku, yeah. sorry. Uh, we, we have both agreed that you do say Simpsons. Yeah, fine. You know, yeah. you can, <laughs> and now you say nunchucks. You, you know, you they can agree to whatever. Yeah. I do you say, hit yourself on the elbow. Have you been hit with one? <laughs> I do say hurt. I do say orangutan correctly, though. So oh, good. Oh, yeah. oh, good. I, well, I'm my, my, I'm a sway. <laughs> I don't need this. Sean's abrasive, Ellen, not you, Phil. <laughs> yeah, by the way, this is another thing. Oh, I was going to say, make sure you add the Ellen thing in the post credits, Chris, because last time we said to put it in the post credits, mm. he didn't, and then we made a reference that made no sense. No, yes. sense. Look like was that Aaron the pterodactyl? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why, why is there no Aaron the pterodactyl here? Because Chris is just like, you're all going to look foolish. <laughs> I was thinking about editing that in, but then I got drunk. Yeah. Um, there's also the thing I did with the not believing dogs are real, which yeah. was in the pre-show and has no context in I, the actual show. I like the idea that we have a pre-show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome we to the pre-show. If you guys subscribe to our Patreon account, you would know this. Yeah. Mm. We don't have a Patreon mm. account. account no, so. uh, but the things we do have are the facts about our directors and writers. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get on with it. Our director is Brett Harland, back from Anthology of Interest number two. Yeah. This is one of my favourite facts. This isn't my favourite fact that will be coming up, but it is one of my favourite facts. Mm. So I'm um, Comcast Comcast bought out NBC a little... No, sorry. Yeah, Comcast bought out DreamWorks a yes. while ago. Um, and so part of that now is what they've decided to do is over the next five years, they've also got to deal with Netflix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so random. So Netflix gets first look 
at any DreamWorks animation that will be based on a universal property. They've already greenlit one pirate. Pirate. Pirate? Oh, sweet. They've greenlit I love pirates. Pilot. Yeah. What universal franchise do you think they're making an animation of that Brett Harland will be the showrunner for? There was a lot of words in it. Look, Sean, I, I lost you at pirate. And I, it's... Like, I don't feel like universal owned... Is it Shrek? Franchises is like an easily yeah. recalled list for me. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I can think of is the, uni- the universal monsters like they did in... Monsters. Oh, the, the Dark Universe. Worse. Oh, the Dark... The, the Dooku, the Dark Universe Cinematic Universe? Yes. <laughs> it is going to be an animation from the Fast and Furious... Franchise. Oh, okay. that would make a good TV show, that cartoon. Will yeah. Focus on yeah. um, uh, it's already a cartoon. Um, they will focus on Vin Diesel's cousin Tony Toretto. No, I was really hoping you say Tony Diesel. Uh, are gonna um get hired by the government to uh go into a car racing uh, mm. underbelly scene and to find fight people that are going to take over the world. So it's not okay. gonna start with them stealing DVD players and eventually then join the military as that <laughs> series has gone. <laughs> So, Executive produced by Vin Diesel. So you're saying the showrunner for that show yes. is Brett the Howard. guy who directed, directed this, this episode. episode. Yes. Yeah, that's had a relatively tired back. Okay. I oh, that's awesome. like the idea yeah. that Fast and Furious is going to be made into an animated uh, DreamWorks uh, series. Okay. Best of luck to them. Uh, the write-up of this episode they, is... They really need the money. <laughs> that really wasn't sarcastic at all. Yeah. Oh my god. See so yeah, Keep ripping for a sec. Riffing, bow, riffing bow, on the bow, podcast. Bow, Bill's bow, playing a guitar. So, riffing. If you I, thought I, I it was riffing. wordy before, um, oh. so I've got Jeff Westbrook as our writer, and he was the writer from the Thirty Percent Iron Chef. Where have you got him? Uh, in my pocket. Oh, that, do you want to see him? Yeah, uh, I'd rather not. That vest is leaving very little to the imagination. And also, it's a fake pocket, so nothing <laughs> he's on pockets. They're flaps. <laughs> Mine are real. <laughs> I just like this fact about Jeff, we- Jeff Westbrook because mm. it is very wordy. Prior to becoming a TV writer, Westbrook was a successful algorithms researcher. Mm. After majoring in physics and history of science at Harvard University, he studied computer science with Robert Tarjan at Princeton University, receiving his PhD in 1989 with a thesis entitled Algorithms and Data Structures for Dynamic Graph Algorithms. What a read. Mm. I feel feel so much more awake after (laughs) it. Basically, he knows algorithms. Yeah, someone should in this crazy world. (laughs) It's a great career path. Oh, I think I'll do algorithms research for data analysis. You know, no, no. I think I'll write cartoons. Comedy, <laughs> comedy cartoons. <laughs> His right. fallback was algorithms. His yeah, main right. goal was cartoons. But what's what's? At least it's a science cartoon. Right? He was successful at both of them. Yeah, like yeah. he made that decision and it worked. And we're yeah. barely successful podcasters. Exactly. So. Um, air date for this episode is March thirtieth, two thousand and three. Introducing Josh. Who was it? Would it be introducing? Pazuzu. Pazuzu. I love Pazuzu. And 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 little uh, and little one because Pazuzu's child has no name. No name. Yes. And that's uh, a little one. And I guess it sort of introduces kid versions of all the characters. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it yes. introduces Bender's DNA now, which I have a point of making yes, later. We'll, right, we'll bring right. that up. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Bill, getting to the first portion of the episode, uh, we'll do a little jingle for it. Bill runs down the plot! Uh, this is a story about how the Planet <laughs> Express, Express crew... Uh, are all reverted to younger versions of themselves mm. uh, and their their um, quest, if you will, to return themselves to their proper ages. Uh, and the conflict Leela has with the desire to remain young, mm. remain a teenager so she can recapture the things that she missed growing mm. up without her parents. Farnsworth really hates being young. <laughs> he hates it so much. He despises it. <laughs> he, he hates... Going to the loo regularly. He yeah. particularly hates having to give money to the government. Yeah. Um, what else does he hate about oh. being young? Well, you know what we don't hate, which is this episode. How do we feel about it? Oh, Ooh. yeah. I was going to see how long I could go without saying the words, and it just—I hated it. Yeah, I hated not. You being wanted able to, to say. say. I could feel Sean's what hate. Do and what do we think? What do we think? Ooh. What do we think about the? Do world all our today? sections now need jingles? Yeah, uh, Paul Goodman, if you're listening, because you're not. Um, Can you do shitty jingles? I mean, great <laughs> jingles for all. Uh, I'm sorry, his jingles are intentionally a bit now. Yeah. Can you say great but like really lilted? Can you do some great okay. jingles? Sweet, Chris. Great. Can you put that over the top of when he says shit? So it's just <laughs> different audio calls. Like, can you do some really great jingles for us? I was thinking about editing that in, but then I got drunk. 
But yeah, Three I, in a, what yeah. do we think, guys? Uh, <laughs> it's fun. We I, 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 it's a good episode. It's, it's good, good fun. Episode. Very fun. Uh, it has it has a nice uh, through line of teenage drama, yeah. mm. which which is about a third of the episode. I say they actually kind of really lean into that with the race yeah. and. Uh, they're they going out back to the day, 50s. and they, yeah, they go back to the fifties, and yeah. they kind of go, "Hey, it's a teenage drama hmm. uh, for a bit," but they don't they don't spend too long in that. It I- feels like it wants to be. It feels like this episode should have been two episodes because, like, the race thing as well in its way was good, but like it was so quick, and then everything else was so quick. It's like they really should have been a two part episode. Well, this this episode actually started out as uh, the initial idea was to make it about Leela going back to live with her parents. Yeah, you can totally so, feel that. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Before being about, about the age reduction yeah. and everything, it's just going to be Leela misses her parents and wants to move back in with them and that's yeah, where the right. exist began. So I'm guessing the, <laughs> the sci-fi. I feel like Pazuzu came very late. Oh, <laughs> in the whole thing. When they're trying to get from point A to point B, they're like, how do we kick this off, right? Is this the weirdest way that a Futurama episode has started as well? It's a pretty, pretty ballsy open, yeah. isn't it? Just it does that, Pazuzu! Well, it does the standard tableau of the Planet Express, yeah. it's the heroic music, and then one second of silence, two seconds of silence, three seconds of silence, explosion, Pazuzu flies yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. It is probably the weirdest beginning and ending. Yeah. That ending is just... It's a good ending, though. Is it the first fourth wall break? Probably. Um, like, as no, in no, actually um, looking... Oh, no, we discussed one quite recently. Well, that uh, was uh, where... Bender was... ben should not be allowed on television when it says uh, you're watching Futurama. Yes, but it's the first time yes. that a character has looked directly into our souls. Uh, well, for the souls, definitely. Yes. Through the screen, probably not. Mm. I, f- I feel like there's been looking through the screens yes. before. I feel someone like as well. And welcome to the internet where someone will correct us. Yes. I know that there has been. Yes. I'm 90%. Um, 95% sure. So this was an episode that the producers uh, considered, didn't go along with it, but considered nominating Billy West for the Emmy Award for his portrayal of several fries. Oh, oh that's yeah, yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, well, maybe we should because he did Nah, let's he does not. like a He does like a fun uh, breaking voice teenager fry, yes. which is probably the best part when he's how cute. desperately trying to hold on to his How cute voice. are 14-year-old Leela and Fry? Oh, they're they gross. are so adorable, and like they even have like that little like mischievous nature when like he's picking her up for the date. It's like that is the goddamn cutest those two have been together. Yes, I also think this is the cutest Bender's been. Yes, because okay. oh, I love his bro- little ears and the little propeller. satellite dishes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, um, the ears was uh, um, in early uh, concept art for Bender. Mm. Right, that was one of the initial. You can go back and see it online, and he's got the antenna ears, and that's what yeah. they initially had. So that that is yeah. sort of their throwback to yeah. a younger version of Bender, who who has braces. Speaking for of Bender, some un- <laughs> unknown reason, Bender's Bender function, function of the week is he suddenly has DNA or robot DNA, DNA. RNA. Now, RNA this is a an- thing. Yeah, it is. It is RNA. Yeah, it's yeah. It means but else. this infuri- This is the thing in this episode that infuriates me. I'm gonna get this out of the way because I really like this episode. But Bender in uh, uh, Leela's homeworld was like the idea that they were going to be dropped into the mutating ocean. He's like, why do I care? I don't have DNA. And now he has DNA, <laughs> and he can be affected by things. This ri- And also, also, Zoidberg, we saw young Zoidberg. He was little, and he was a, a decapodian, but now he's got larval forms. Several different larval forms. So about either, eight either, different larval forms. Did he just, forms. like, stay home from... <laughs> he's like an adult when he was at yeah. home, I guess. I don't... I, I don't know. Can I bring up a, an additional internal yes. inconsistency? We saw Bender's creation. He is put, yes. he's he's, put together fully he's, formed. Yes. Yes. He does not have a young version. No. He does not have a tiny version. But, he does not grow but with in the, size. But with the, the age power age. of DNA, <laughs> anything is possible. I do like that when Leela goes back into a younger form. Here's the thing that infuriated me. Mm. She didn't get braces. Oh, she's Young had Lila braces in, in Lila's uh, early version. She has yes. braces around that age as well. However, all of them change uh, biologically. They don't have exterior biological factors affecting them. Bender braces make sense but, because they are metal and he is metal. A few, a few more issues though. Uh, yeah. Everyone's fashion changes with them. Sometimes. Only sometimes. <laughs> That's why I make the, I make the, the, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, like, yeah. like his, his hair and his, uh, like the professor's mm. hair and moustache change yes. with him. Yes. As he gets younger. Yes. And as if, as if to say, like, hair is genetic in yeah, that way. Yeah, that's right. Like, also, the thing is, the first few times it happens, it is, uh, they ch- the clothes don't change. They change into 
the youngest forms and their adult clothes are on top. Well, Leela never gets out of her clothes. Exactly. <laughs> but subsequently, when they get younger and younger, when the, it's eating away, all of their clothes change with them. And then when they go into the water, they come back out and they're back in the baby diapers. It's... Which it is why, no which is why I, make, I make I <laughs> make the option that she should have had her braces because it's that much a part of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Of, of all the issues, I think that's the smallest one in the and, episode. And sometimes the smallest issues. Yes, very true. Have I, I quite like, was the Chupinibre in this episode as well? Did they? Uh, he was a teacher. Yeah, they, like a Chupinibre oh, is there. I, oh wait, as in the actual Chupinibre? Yeah. The monster. Yeah, the, the, I, I could have sworn they uh, turned a corner and a Chupinibre is sitting oh, right, right there. Like again. Okay, look, I've gotten all the bad. <laughs> I've gotten all my problems. Out oh, of I'm way. not done yet. Oh, um, I, like the, I like that Deep Space Nine is a thing. Yes. Deep oh, Space is that the space station they blow up? up? That, yeah. So either pretty much either exactly Deep it's space art Nine. imitating life and Star Trek exists, or whoever designed that uh, is space a station, fan. massive fan, which doesn't make sense because Star Trek is banned. Oh yeah, yeah should have no reference That's why to Star it's, Trek. It's slightly off brand. Yeah. Yeah. It's a le- as I like to say, legally distinct. It's, <laughs> legal, it's illegal on Earth, though, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, yes. which we'll get to. So in the galaxy and the universe, it should so be good thing fine. it got destroyed. Good yes, thing it got yeah, destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would like to talk more about the the young character designs, as much as there's glaring inconsistencies. Like um, what, Sean? Uh, no, Sean. Like what? Yeah, Phil? So I shall tell you. <laughs> Sean, tell me what Phil is going to say. Um, uh, I hate. But despite that, Amy. I just I really like the designs. Like I like yeah. how much fun they have with them. I like Hermes' hair in his yes. like middle stage. Where he has really tall. Yeah. He has a really tall flat top. Mm. I think that's awesome. I like the fact that he and he's on the same intellectual level as his son. Yes. And, and Dwight. The, uh, Dwight, yeah. yeah. And um, Puberty makes him all What's his wife called? Uh, La Barbara. Uh, La Barbara. La Barbara. What, she, what does she say when she picks him up? I'm taking home my, my say, pipes. Yeah, my... Say goodbye to the professor. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> Mr. Dumsworth. Dumsworth. Say bye to Professor Vaughn. Yeah, I, lo- I like all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of think that... Fat Amy gets a bit of a, a harsh turn, yes. but I, I like that they went How, that route with her character. They do rectify it, though, when, and I was going to say, the cutest scene ever is when Leela's looking after them all, and you get, like, cute little Amy, cute little Fry, cute pint-sized Bender, and cute little Hermes, and they're all adorable. They're adorable, yeah. It's they're, like Muppet Babies. Yes. It's that level of adorable. Absolutely. It's kind of funny that um, in A Flight to Remember, the first person they try to set Amy up with is that larger man uh, that's at the uh, buffet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it, uh, mm. Mm. We go mm. back to the Wong Ranch as well, and also I didn't also, like that scene. I no. thought it was really not funny. Also, which, which scene? the Wong Ranch, ranch the Wong scene. Ranch. Also, technically, she already has grandchildren because a kid gets knocked does. up a notch. Bam has already happened. Do mm. they? Do they know? Do the parents? Do they know? Well, they, they, yeah, they were they because, there. because Kif was no. They weren't there. At, they were there when Kif was pregnant. Yes, but they weren't there for the birth. So they would still know that they have grandchildren. Yeah. Maybe maybe Kiff told them that he it miscarried. Takes a, uh, just I, to take it down another route. I don't think he would do I, that. I think that would that would torture Amy too much. I lost him. Yeah, I mean, maybe instead of that scene, yes. the Wongs, mm. and it being like their tiger parents, ha ha ha, uh, have a Kiff scene instead. Yeah. The Wong maybe and, we lost him, uh, Kiff. Uh, uh, Oh, he's just um, uh, uh, the uh, uh, a taste of freedom. Yes, very true. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I would love to have seen uh, his attitude to to yeah. young so, Amy. Young Amy, yeah. yeah, which is fine for the mother. Like it's it's a personality quirk for her to be so fixated on Amy having children. But then we have Mister Wong just being like, "You're so fat, you'll be around room." It's like, okay, it's this just is... yeah, that's yeah, he's at. just mean. Yeah, it's not it's not <laughs> great. No, not at all. There there is so much good animation in this episode, though. The tapeworm, you were saying? Oh, the tapeworm, yeah, yeah. Oh, because I got lost. Oh, uh, yeah. The tapeworm, um, even like the little kinetic things in the entire way. Like, uh, I was going to say, because I know you want to talk about the race. Yes. Um, yes. But I just wanted to say that uh, there's that little details moment the moment that the tar hits them all. They're already all young. Like, if you look at, like, Fry. Yeah, like and, Amy. Yeah. Close up on her face. And then Fry, you already see that his clothes are slightly too big. And yeah. you don't notice that until you go... Oh, and it's like, that's good. That's good little, like, true animation. Nice like little that. touch. Yeah. yeah. Very quick foreshadowing for what yes. will happen in a second's time. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah, the race. So, <laughs> my first question is, they decide to have an impromptu race. Mm. I'm assuming it's just... Let's just assume that yeah. 
a route is already predetermined. It's a throwback in the to the beginning of the yeah. episode, maybe in some sort of Fast and the Furious esque yeah. manner. That's fine. They always know where the route's going to be. Yes. That's, I'm happy with yeah, that. Yeah, they race often, right? They go, oh, oh yeah, let's do the, the tunnels race. Yes. Yeah. They have a crowd at the end. Yes, yes. and a line set yes. up and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Is, is that just an established right at four o'clock? Someone's afternoon? doing a race. Someone's having a race. Let's make Did, sure we're there. That, that's why I think it should be two episodes because I feel like they could have dedicated a little bit more time to that part. I love the sewer universe. Sewer universe is great. Explore sewer, sewer yeah. Verse. yeah. yeah. That's detention. Poor, poor Fry as well. That's he's the, the worst human on above land that he has to come down to the sewers. They're under me. <laughs> yeah. You, you got to think yeah. as well that for Fry. He must get sick every time he goes down there because his body mm. just wouldn't be... He's from the year 2000. He's not yeah. accustomed to being down well, there. Well, we whereas... also find out that the burgers have rat feces in them. Yeah. What, do you want to die? Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I don't remember that line. And it made me like... <laughs> when I heard it, I like, oh. Also, <laughs> I, I love like, just the way Leela says it as well. It's very charming. Yeah. Yeah. So, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like similar to when Leela in Love and Rocket said, bad chance. Yeah. It's it's kind of nice we get to see the two of them just go out on an innocent uh, like date as yeah. teenagers. Just because be when they yeah, when they're older there's a lot of kind of tension because the stakes about them having a relationship are much higher. Yeah. And so Leela is a lot more combative to Fry's advances, yeah. but when he's a teenager and he's like, oh, let's just go on a little date and, and we're going to go to the movies. Yeah. It, it lets you kind of explore and enjoy their relationship. Without yeah. having to do the will they, won't they. So. Yeah, yeah. Which it's is, nice to see them together. I like uh, that. Leela lets go of a lot of her defences here. Like, because she wants such a normal life that she technically has that with her parents for a while and is getting forcing them to enforce... Rules on Ooh, her. It's a really nice inversion. I love yeah. those gags. They're and really good. We're doubling down on the father's drinking problem yeah. as well. <laughs> Not until you finish your tequila. <laughs> um, but like, uh, the moment she lets go of all of those, because she <laughs> finally doesn't have to watch her own back, she's finally safe and protected, it allows that moment of vulnerability to come out with Fry. And also, hormones being what they are certainly help, because she's 14. Yes. So the yeah. idea... Uh, it's just, it's nice. 14. Um, I was a goth. I want to know what you were like at 14. I was still a geek. Oh, I hate I'm me. Sorry, yeah. I hate me at 14. What was uh, your hair like at 14? Uh, it looked like this. Really? Yeah. Awesome. No, my hair always <laughs> goes out with green missing. <laughs> I had like an Oasis thing going on. Like very Beatles-ish. Oh, okay. I just, I, I, okay. See, I always mm. wanted to grow my hair long as a kid. I've done that, but I didn't do yeah. it till I was older. Right. Does, does it go down? Because my hair just goes out. Yeah. And I just joined It would eventually yeah. have enough weight to, to hang itself My Mine kind of like goes down on an angle and slowly becomes like the Mario mushroom like in terms it's of... Fantastic. It's awesome. I I'm just envisaging you... Envisaging you? <laughs> with, with like a 60s... Uh, like a lady's 60s flick. Yeah, if it's very close to yeah, that. Yeah, very yeah. close. It curls. Like a go-go long, go dancer. Yeah, so yeah. If, if, if you could, if you could get her... Uh, not, not as far as being unbirthed. Yes. But if you could go back to 15-year-old... You, 14 year old you, would you do it? Um, yes. Oh. Wait, I retain all my knowledge. So it's 14 year old you, but in 2018. Yeah, well, if I retain all my experience of now, then yeah, I could redo it. Would Faith be okay with that? <laughs> Probably not, no. <laughs> <laughs> She'd definitely be looking after two children at that point then. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Gonna be I was like... a bit of a shit as a teenager uh, as well, so I'm sure she doesn't so want to. So you're going to gonna be young Hermes then? Yeah, I think uh, so. Yeah, sorry. I was super bland, so I was like. I guess it's Zoidberg. Oh. <laughs> look, look. Let's not let's not throw things oh, around uh, that we can't take back. <laughs> favorite larval form of Zoidberg. Zoidberg? Um, yeah. I'm gonna say the clam. Clam. I was gonna go for clam, although the lamprey. I do like the lamprey, but it's just oh it's yeah. just, it's just slurping on the professor's. I was gonna say that's where I was going. Also, with, the yeah. deep sea anglerfish one for a brief moment when he's going through the pool of angels. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Ter- bulb in yeah, that's terrifying. Um, yeah, there was a terrifying story. The one where he gets stuck to the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, I can't see from down here. <laughs> Punk. Punk. <laughs> Actually, I quite like Zoidberg with his brothers. Yeah. Just all he the was budding. always being the centre of attention. <laughs> What's his brother's name? Um, uh, uh, wrong. Uh, Zoidberg's brother died. Uh, Antonio? No. No, 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 no. no, no. I don't think they named... They do. It's like Fred or something. It's a really, a really uh, boring name. Actually, well, that makes sense because Zoidberg's it's John. John, yeah. John Zoidberg, yeah, true. Yeah. John Zoidberg. Um, I do like that. They do the bait and switch. You're like, oh, Zoidberg's dead. Dead? Yeah. <laughs> wrong. Zoidberg's brother's dead. Um, there was also... Uh, uh, another bit with the animation, you know, when uh, Leela says that she's going to sneak out, like the idea is like, I can't go with my friends. You know, I ha- they sneak out later, and she climbs the tree and goes up the ladder. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the moment they show Leela babysitting, 
that tree and that ladder are already there. So it's not like the problem with cartoons of like them introducing something suddenly. Yeah, where yeah, yeah. Uh, 340, 742 Evergreen Terrace is everywhere in the city. Yes, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I do like that she, she grounds herself mm. so that she can have the experience of but, sneaking out. There's oh, something yeah. so charming about her approach to childhood if, in this yeah. episode. Even the line of just like, it's like, no, I need to be back by 11pm. Uh, and it's like, alright, alright, you're the boss. No, I'm not! not! <laughs> Speaking of charming, this is how you make Bender redeemable. Yes. Uh, in For this episode, is make him rebellious, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> like, having Full that father-son son relationship with yeah. Barnsworth is beautiful. Oh, even that, uh, it's like a um, you know, one other thing. Yes, you suck. Uh, yes, yes, I, yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> um, He's a great. Dad. There's, there's another one he does uh, where where Leela's like, since I've been thrown back in time. Yeah. That's not, not what, what happened. happened. My favorite line. Yeah. yeah. Favorite line oh, of the right. entire episode. My favorite line in the entire episode is uh, Farnsworth uh, stroking the moose antler, and it's like, and then we totally gave it to Moose. Yes, I would like to meet this moose. It's like that is so out of nowhere. My favorite line is uh bender saying that he's gonna run away yeah <laughs> and there's that pause i was like okay you can go i'll be good i'll be good, I'll be good. <laughs> it's really that is my favorite i really like that Even and though- there's his motorbike i'm not sure where that motorbike comes from whether yeah. he's always had it it's a nice it. bike it's, it's a, a nice, nice bike. bike it's got flames on it it it's makes it great. faster yeah. Go- yeah. going back to crimes of the hot it's probably also a robot just knowing how oh, everything yeah, probably. is probably yeah um, cool. There was a... What was this? What else was there? Uh, a Bender when he was pumping uh, the tar right at the beginning. Mm. It's a nice little bit of character development. Again, he pulls up the sleeves like he occasionally... Yes, I like that. Pumping yeah. like... Uh, like uh, pu- Pumping like everything is a derivative uh, a primitive, early form, primitive of, form of bending. bending. Which I agree with. Yeah. <laughs> Pump harder, Bender. I'm pumping as hard <laughs> yeah. as I can. Harder! Yeah. Gives himself a real hard time, oh, doesn't that's, he? That's another function. He's got a... Uh, he's his own worst enemy. Yeah, I've yeah. got this note. I think Bender he's has a, some issues he needs to work through. Yeah, yeah he really He's got does. a kind of Schmeagle thing going on, doesn't yes. he? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to mention that this is the return of chronotons. Yes, yeah, the the time eating chronotons from uh, time keeps yeah. on slipping. Where, Where were they? They were the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Where the were they? Word. They were in the tar the entire time. Yes, and they attached to your D or RNA. Uh, another cool design thing. Mm. There's lots of little elements, design elements in this episode. So the controlled infection machine. Oh, it's just a big coughing, coughing. mouth. <laughs> yes, let's all do the same thing at the same time. <laughs> um, there's also a really good tiny red dwarf joke in this as well. Uh, yes, yeah, Snow, Snow, Snow White, White Dwarf and the Seven Red, red dwarfs, dwarfs. Which every time I hear that, I can't help but giggle. It's a little star star joke, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> I like I like the floating Eiffel Tower. Yeah. at the very end oh. with Pazuzu. Even like the flip of instead of the Fountain of Youth, it's the Fountain of Aging. I, yes, I like that as like a Deus Ex Machina, but at the same degree, it's just like that moment where it's like, well, it is a myth, but uh, also the Tooth Fairy was, and now he's in charge of the FBI. Yeah. I like, I like what? the fountain of, a- the fountain, fountain of Aging was a myth, but clearly no one's just ever bothered to look for it because how easily did they find it? Yeah, well, so, who wants oh, to get myth. older? Who wants to get older? Yeah. <laughs> they, speaking about being old, there's the, the whole beginning of this episode, which you mm. kind of haven't really addressed. All it's the like old this jokes. massive riff on how awful old people yeah. are. Um, the yeah, bad like, driving. Cool, yeah. go, he can go ninety percent, ninety nine percent of the speed of light, and he's yeah. going thirty five miles oh, an hour. Yeah. His his obsession with coupons hmm. and returning things and forgetfulness. His uh, up eat teeth, evil nuclear powered teeth. Yeah. get a taste of blood. There's oh, a- his his um his senile. The senile aspect of his personality just turned up to twenty. Yeah. yeah. Also, episode. his delayed reaction time when that guy like swung around and it's like he's like you suck. I was like he's like get off the road, old man, and drives away. It's like one one thousand, two one thousand. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I think it might. This is my favorite part of continuity for Futurama so far. Is oh. that uh, Farnsworth is legally dead? Yes. Because his, he did die. His lifetime has expired. Yes. That is. Yeah, yeah. He was meant to die at one hundred and fifty, but I, he's actually one hundred and sixty. Oh, I wrote that down, and then Sean was like. That's good continuity. I'm like, uh-huh. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Isn't it, just? And you were talking about... You like to talk about animation yes. touches, right? And we, I was just talking about the old... Riffing on mm. old people. The massage scene. Oh! Where they just, like, all his skin... Yeah, that is... Comes away. Unsexed. Not away, but, like, all his extra skin. The... And his face when they give him Botox. Oh, yeah, oh the give, give me back my floppy face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, a, my God. There's a quote right at the beginning of the episode, which I really think... 
is just such an amazing quote and it really deserves its own like little section which is the moment where Fry and Leela are like oh my god he's actually taking off Seabell's the maximum buckling and this is <laughs> like they are mummified in there and Bender is just nail gunning himself oh, to yeah. the wall that's really nice because that is this the first time that Farnsworth has six, yeah actually like oh well, yeah. we've seen him fly yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah and it's like oh this is why he doesn't fly <laughs> and he derides his own ship's pilot who he employs to fly the yeah. ship for being bad at driving because yeah. she's a woman. Also, question. when Because this uh, is important now. Right, right. When the rest of them uh, decided to join Beck on the tour, the team yes. was Hermes, Amy, and Zoidberg. Who flew? No, no, it wasn't Zoidberg and Amy. Amy, no, the, you're thinking of... They uh, follow when, in a van. You're thinking of when uh, Fry, Leela, and Bender leave uh, with uh, Michelle. No, 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 I'm not. I am thinking of the Beck episode. Um, because the people that stay behind, Zoidberg goes along with them, you're right. But the uh, the team is Amy... No, Amy, Amy's uh, on the tour. No, it is. So it's, she's, yeah. it's Hermes, Scruffy. This is our headcanon. I, I we, think they yeah. just don't yeah. get any deliveries yeah. during that, 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 time. that was our headcanon. We were working out who the crew was. Because you never see uh, Planet Express after they leave. Where's the one? Where's the episode then? It's when uh, 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 Fry, uh, Leela, Bender get fired. Okay, because and then of... they go to the, the pleasure planet yeah. or whatever. And yeah. it's like, I finally know what it's like to be a grandfather. Yeah. Uh, isn't it a grandmother? Grandmother. grandmother. Yeah. grandmother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm schooling you at the moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Amy would be the driver because she yeah. has driving experience. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Although yeah. when they land, she would get up and then fall over. And fall yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is a good episode. Like, yeah, I, 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 one, one more moment if we're doing moments. Yeah. Uh, has to be because it's a very popular moment among mm. Futurama fandom. Is it Pazuzu? Which because is, it has to be Pazuzu. But no, it's, it's not. Pazuzu is very popular. But I was thinking of Do tell. with my last breath. Yes, I <laughs> curse Zoidberg. Zoidberg. It's very people love that moment because yes. it's genius. It, it, it is brilliant. <laughs> it really shows even in death, Farnsworth will curse Zoidberg. It's his his oldest, friend. his oldest, his oldest friend. friend. Yeah, but he doesn't have like he doesn't respect anyone. No, anymore. of course no. not. Uh, yes, overall, it's got a lot of moments, this yeah. episode. Yeah. Well, well, let's chuck up uh, this episode against Jurassic Bark. Oh. Well. <laughs> I mean, well. <laughs> well. 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 Uh, it's not as good as Jurassic Bark. That's, yes. I'm just going to say that. It's just not as good. It's not a bad episode. Yeah. It's very funny. And it is full of gags. They've just crammed it full of gags. Mm. Visual gags, uh, wordplay gags, character gags. Few of them don't Land. quite connect okay. but when <laughs> you jokes. when you chuck a ton of them at yeah. the screen that's it's gonna that happen. happen so that's my opinion it's a, it's it's a funny episode lots of energy that covers a lot of ground yes uh and pace is great but jurassic bark has yeah, it's a really well real paced classic. episode yeah. Yeah. it is yeah, yeah. yeah it rattles along controversial opinion oh yeah okay i am voting for this one i'm voting for teenage mutant leela turtles uh, Only because... This is uh, one of your favourite episodes, isn't it? Or uh, I, you've just talked about it a lot. It's one of those episodes that stuck with me for the longest time. And uh, according to the prophet of Sean, I'm finally able to realise it. It's got good sci-fi and it's got good uh, writing and comedy. Because it's time travel. Exactly. Mm. not how Te- it works. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but this is... Reverse aging's a nice sci-fi. Oh, yeah. 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 This episode, I think, because I always uh, attach more to po- things that make me feel positive. At the end mm. of it. And I feel like happier at the end. And Jurassic Bark leaves me so devastated every time. And it's a great episode. And I love that episode. And it is a better episode. But I have more fun with this. Mm. And fun wins out in the end. Because I like the animation. It's great. I like the idea of the, the reverse aging. I like that Leela's parents are in it. Anytime that Leela's parents are there, I'm like, great. This is a good time. So I'm, They used well as well. Those yeah, it, yeah, really well, in fact. Mm, the, yeah. Their flaws are taken to the nth degree when Leela is teaching them to be parents yeah and it's uh it's a feel-good episode <laughs> and if you uh 100 of the time if you start and end with pazuzu uh you'll always get me so i am the minority in this episode so i i have the the potential to infuriate ellen by yeah. knocking jurassic Park and, and maybe a lot of people at home a lot of yeah. people look, I mean, look that's the secondary uh mission statement of this yes, podcast infuriate to see people. if uh jurassic Park can be knocked off its perch yeah <laughs> which i believe it can but not, it's not this, this time. time. Yeah, it's not yeah. this time. I'm etching onto yeah. the bark a two. Et two. To go along with your. Et two fill. Et two fill. Yes. Et two fill. Look, I, I totally know why you voted for it. And I only voted for it because I knew you both would vote for it. <laughs> because because you wanted to just. I want to be just as Kirby. I want a dissenting opinion just to be like for the few <laughs> people out there who like it. Look, Jurassic Bark is a better episode and I love it. Yeah, there you but go. I'm voting against it. Okay. So just because just you can. 
Yes, I can. Um, for a voice, time for the voice, starting with Phil. Uh, can we do? Could you do Pazuzu? We have to do Pazuzu. Oh, you can also and do that's the. Uh, how I gained my freedom, little one. You could also do the uh, the creatures uh, Elzar's species because there's a couple of them at the uh, spa planet. What's her name? The uh, Wen- Wenda or something. Wen- uh, uh, Wanda is the person at the old uh, food place. Wanda, yeah. Who is the? Barbara? No. No, I don't think no. she gets named. Well, she's I thought she Pazuzu. did have a name. Yeah. Yeah. And now, bon oui. Bon oui to you all. I will do Oh, this. he does have... I yeah. would like to redo mine with a bit of that. bit of Antonio Banderas. Yes, he's yes. got a bit of... Maybe it's a little Spanish French. or, or Spanish. French. It's European. Well, they're, they're in, they're in France. Europe. And that is how I won my freedom, little one. I'm going to do Pazuzu's uh, opening line. <laughs> Thank you for Wow, the, you blur out the mic from yeah. a distance. Thank yes. you for the technique of leaning back. Yeah, I, uh, lean back. Lean back. Still too loud. The animation on Pazuzu is the best. Also, <laughs> yeah, that, he that, that accent well. just makes me think of um that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. Yeah, it's very it's very uh Inigo Montoya. Yes. Yeah. My name is Inigo Montoya. My name is Pazuzu. You <laughs> killed my <laughs> you my ent- ancestors? <laughs> you enslaved me for many years for scientific experiments. Prepare to die. <laughs> Oh, just quickly, Farnsworth cheats God once again, and we get that really weird animation on his face when he's like, as God intended. Oh, and very quickly, oh God, all his bones snapped at the end. Oh! He just oh, caved into yeah. himself, and I was not a fan of that. He's somehow even older than when he started. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But if you are a fan of our podcast, uh, mm. email babybeardmedia at gmail.com if you'd like to get in contact with us for any reason, whether that's to deliver praise, whether that is to deride us and tell us that we got something wrong. Well, I can tell you something you got wrong right now. What which is that? Is, before we go into the section, you usually tell our listeners what episode they can expect to hear next week. Oh, we're done. Oh, this we're is finished. how it ends. That's, this is it. That's it. So this is cool. the end. You can't get any further. But what we are going to see next week is uh, the Y of, of Fry. Oh, the Y of Fry. Why of now, Fry. Uh, if you would like to tell us how we can improve our format, you can contact fuck us. Off. <laughs> fuck off. You Sean, fuck we need off. to take constructive criticism. <laughs> you can fuck off on uh, all social media where you can find us at Baby Beard Media. And uh, when you're tired of fucking off uh, and want to uh, rate us, uh, probably don't give us the negative views. Give us something positive. Let's let's keep it on a happy note. Let's all age together with five stars that slowly burn out, uh, or one very high uh, five red dwarfs, five red dwarfs out of uh, seven, or <laughs> a, a very very high asteroid belt on the size of a planet. Yeah. And if you do so, do so, please do it on iTunes. It's the best way to boost our rating and boost our standings mm. in the podcast universe Get unless you're into an, more ear holes unless you're an android user in which case download itunes and just <laughs> rate it anyway yeah, yeah please well, use that thing called a desktop computer i don't uh, get it I'm not sure no. so for your older generations get a desktop computer for your younger generations you've got one it's fine you're all good i think it's the other way around i think yeah. kids don't have desktops anymore uh, pc master race yeah. yeah well until that time when you get a desktop computer i have been sean i've been phil i am josh uh, bye. bye 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 and and my wife reckons I have a generalized anxiety as well so I'm just a, a mess a I think I'm generalizing mess. a bit though you're uh, uh, that, joke, that joke made me anxious <laughs> did we say comedy yeah comedy is <laughs> subjective very, very loosely yeah comedy. Chris if that made it in um, whoever's listening give a, give a comment if you laughed at that Josh, yes. I must say, yes. you are dressed exceptionally oh, yeah. well for the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's Over, a Overdressed kid. or underdressed? <laughs> I have a waistcoat, I've got a tie, I've got a button-up shirt, I'm wearing good jeans and oh. shiny socks. I'm not even wearing pants. Yeah, I know. I can feel it under the table. <laughs> After the uh, successful run of the seventh show of uh, Quest Time, uh, we have decided to start it as a podcast, uh, picking up where we left off. So it is Judas. A... Yes, <laughs> I'm doing both. This is... Hey, do you need uh, do you need some experienced podcasters to be on there? Uh, I mean, there's always guests and the opportunity. You might yeah. see some familiar faces or hear some familiar faces, but it's a improvised comedy podcast with uh, continuing with the Quest Time tabletop role playing rules. So there'll be dice rolling. There will be some significant hijinks. There'll be fun action fact and comedic as always there's so, a lot uh, of words in that as yeah. well but Man, search just... quest time and we will uh hopefully I'll have be a there week. yet <laughs> yeah. no it's up it's up now
the podcast. We, yeah, we've got a we've got a forward episode. It's like the beginning of the book that no one reads. Oh uh, yes, it's a little catch me up. I like this idea that it's just you reading the D and D fifth edition book. Yeah, no <laughs> cover to cover. No, we had nothing scripted. We we're just like we're not scripted at the moment. This is great. <laughs> um, but yeah, search quest time on your podcast thing of choice.